This is the story of two completely different individuals from Vijayanagar. One was Udanka, a wealthy merchant whose house was overflowing with sacks of grains mm. every day. <laughs> On the other hand, there was Babban, a poor man whose house had nothing but empty sacks, utensils and a sense of emptiness. Babban approached Udanka for help. Mm. I don't have a single grain of food at home. Can I get a sack of grains, please? I won't give you a single grain of food until you settle the previous debt. Money is honey. I don't understand where they come from. Now go away. <laughs> This village now has neither any employment nor anyone willing to help. Why would you go to the city alone for the entire family? We will go together and work hard as a team. Understood? So it's huh? decided then. We won't let you work alone. <laughs> Let's join hands. Yes, you're right, my son. Babbit's family <laughs> knew how to stay united in every situation. And that was the strength of his family. The very next morning, Babban and his entire family set out for the city. Hmm. You stop there. <sighs> there is a dense forest ahead and night is about to fall. Where are you going? Uh, we are going to the city. Uh, we'll rest for the night ahead. All right, but be careful while going. A thief just escaped from our custody a while ago. But we don't have anything that's worth stealing. So you please don't worry. I will take your leave. This place seems right. This place is perfect for our night halt. Okay, you all clean the area under the tree properly. All, all right, right then. then. Brother, I will also help you with this. <laughs> Nirmala, hmm? you fill the water. All right. Uh, you all arrange for the fire. Okay. I will go get some dry wood. Under the tree, everyone was engaged in their preparations. And on top of that tree, Mungi was sitting with the stolen coins. Oh no, where did these people come from? That was close. The preparations for the night halt are done. But there is hmm. nothing to eat. Don't you worry, Nirmala. The one sitting above is watching everything. He will definitely help us. Uh -huh. hmm? <laughs> but who is above besides me? I hope they didn't figure out that I am the one sitting above. And what if he doesn't help us? Other than this, we have no other option. <laughs> If he doesn't help us, we will hold on to his feet and we huh? won't let go until he helps us. Huh? Keep that rope here. It will be useful for time. All right. Sometimes he says he'll hold on to my feet and won't let me go. And at other times he says he'll tie me up. It seems like these people are the king's men. The way they coordinate suggests that if they catch me, I won't be able to escape. It's better that you flee from here, Mungi. <laughs> Huh? Coins! Back to golden coins! God has helped us! <laughs> this will make our life better! You are right, brother! We will sleep early. We need to leave from here early tomorrow morning. Huh? Uh -huh. Oh, not for the city, but for our village. <laughs> <laughs> They must have come back to ask for a loan and ruin my entire day. Money is honey. 
today I haven't come to ask for a loan, but to repay them. <laughs> if you don't want it now, I will come back later. What are you saying? Hey, come inside. Money is honey. <laughs> Here are your remaining coins. And in exchange for these coins, please huh? keep sacks of grains uh. in my cart. Uh, until yesterday, you couldn't even repay your loan. But today, along with repaying the loan, you come to buy grains as well. Uh. Did you people commit some robbery overnight? Money is honey. No, no, sir. It happened like this. Greedy Udanka, uh. having uh. heard the story uh. of Baban's coins, planned to act out uh. the same story <laughs> under that tree. But more people were needed to show off. So he thought of repeating the same incident that happened to Babban by luring his customers with a few coins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the next morning, he also took his belongings and headed towards the same tree where the thief Mungi was already sitting and searching for his lost bag. Oh no, my bag of coins! All the hard work from so many days has gone to waste. Hmm? We have found the place. Unload the goods! Uh -huh. Listen, you bring water from the pond and you go and uh -huh. cut some wood and bring uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and what uh -huh. are you planning to do? Just to rest. Don't argue with me. Just focus on your work. And yes, come back quickly. It's just a matter of a few moments now. Here's your water. Shh. Do one more thing. Which task is left now? You fool, start asking questions. I gave you coins for this work. <gasps> oh, yes. All the preparations uh -huh. for the night hall uh -huh. are done. But there is nothing to eat. Don't worry. The one sitting above watching everything will help us now, money's honey. Uh -huh. I have heard these words before. But how will he help us, huh? We are all together. And now he has no other choice but to come and help us. Uh -huh. If the chief's words are not being heard by his own people, why will the one sitting above hear them? Come on, Mungi. It's time to make up for the lost coins. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't do this. I have saved these coins one by one with my hard work. Shut up. When I decide to steal, I don't leave anything. Keep all the goods in the cart quickly. <laughs> I came here to earn, but I lost what I had earned earlier. <laughs> Wait! Prince. No, I don't want to marry the princess. Huh? 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 Ah! Oh. <sighs> if all the princes keep running away like this, I'll leave my kingdom and go somewhere else. No, no, father. Don't say that. I'm ready for marriage. Huh? huh? But I have one condition. What condition? I will marry the one who can take care of my rabbits and feed them for one whole month. Huh? Huh? Listen, everyone! Whoever takes care of the princess's rabbits! And within no huh? time, this news spread like wildfire. Huh? Many princes came forward to try their luck by fulfilling the condition. Give them the rabbits! <laughs> the rabbits created such a commotion that within a short time, all the princes left the rabbits there and ran away. Huh? Hmm. So many princes from different places came, but they could not handle these little rabbits. I don't see anyone far and wide who can complete this task. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Wonderful. Pardon me, my king. I can fulfill your condition. Huh? An ordinary shepherd? No. What if he fulfills the condition? Will my daughter spend her entire life with him? As per the announcement, we'll have to hand over the rabbits to him for now. Ah. Princess, huh? I have never seen your rabbit so happy. Huh? There is definitely something magical in the tunes of that shepherd's flute. Is it? Well, that's interesting. Influenced by the commander's words, Princess Tara secretly went to see all this herself. Huh? And seeing her rabbit so happy there, she couldn't believe it. Meanwhile, Kiti saw the princess sneaking around. And that's how they meet. And after that, they started meeting every day. As soon as the king gets to know about it, he becomes furious and makes a plan to stop Kiti from fulfilling the condition. Wow! <laughs> How beautiful! These huh? rabbits are very adorable. Uh, uh, <laughs> the king! Can you give me at least one for my daughter? In return, I'll give you a gold coin. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, why not? But for that, only a gold coin will not work. You will also have to do some other work. Just like washing dirty clothes, giving a massage, and also polishing my shoes. No one seems to be watching. And then, how many clothes and shoes can this shepherd have? <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> oh my God, so much work. You made me do the work of the entire village. At least now give me a rabbit. Yes, yes, here you go. <laughs> God. My king, where is the rabbit? Mm, here it is. Wow, my king, you didn't just bring a rabbit, but also solved our problem. Stop! Oh, what uh, have you done? Stop! Wait. You are very special. The king himself took you on a tour of the palace. Now it was Queen Ketki's turn to bring the rabbit. Oh, wow. You play the flute so well. And these rabbits are so cute. I feel like taking them with me. Can I have one of them, please? Why not? But uh, I have a condition. You have to do some work for me. Hmm, I already knew this. Windows and doors of this room. <laughs> Quickly, do it. <laughs> wow, he was so confident of marrying my daughter. <laughs> 
Listen, start preparing for the celebration. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh no, why did you open the window? <laughs> as soon as one month passed, Kirti reached the palace the very next day to marry the princess. Seeing all the rabbits safe, Queen Ketki put forward a strange condition in front of Kirti. Bring three sacks. Huh? You don't have to fill them with any objects, but with your own words. Can you do it? Uh, yes, with your permission, I can certainly try. Go ahead. Hmm. Hmm? Once upon a time, there was a powerful king, whom everyone feared in the kingdom. But one day, an ordinary shepherd made him wash his clothes, massage his dirty feet, and polish his shoes. <laughs> oh no, he knows everything. The name of that king was... Stop! It's filled. <laughs> it's filled. <laughs> the sack is full. <laughs> but there are still two oh. more sacks left, my king. Once, there lived a very beautiful queen. But one day, listening to an ordinary shepherd, she sewed his torn clothes and trimmed the wool of his sheep. The queen's name was... Stop it! Stop it! Enough. It's enough. Hmm. Hmm? Once upon a time, there was a very beautiful princess. Who fell in love with a shepherd? She used to come to meet him every day on the hill. It's done. Stop it now. <laughs> well done. You have passed this test too. You are blessed with a wealth of wisdom. Undoubtedly, we couldn't find a better match for the princess than you. Huh? <laughs> Hmm. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel, Murti Media.